What exactly is private mortgage insurance? That's what we're talking about today and we're getting started right now. Thanks for joining. I'm Jonathan Schultz. I'm a local real estate agent here in Los Angeles County with Rodeo Realty. We post new videos here every Wednesday about real estate and the local area. If that's something of interest to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you'll never miss a video. Also, stay tuned till the end of the video and learn about our wine of the week pick. What is private mortgage insurance or PMI? Private mortgage insurance is a monthly premium that a borrower pays to ensure that if for some reason they default on a loan, that the mortgage lender gets a portion of that balance. The traditional target for a home loan down payment is 20% of the purchase price, but that's out of reach for many buyers, especially here in Los Angeles, where the medium home price is around $1 million. Mortgage insurance makes it possible to put down a much smaller down payment and still qualify for a home loan. When you're putting down less than 20%, lenders consider you a riskier investment. So lenders want an insurance policy on that investment. PMI insurance benefits the mortgage lender, not the borrower. If you're ever behind on payments, that does not prevent foreclosure and cannot be used to make up payments. You're still on the hook for the loan. So how is PMI calculated? For a conventional loan, PMI is calculated based on the purchase price of the home, your credit score, your debt to income ratio, and the amount of money you're putting down towards the payment, and a few other factors. Basically, the less risky you are as a buyer, the less your PMI insurance will be, and vice versa. As an example, on a $1 million conventional loan with 10% down at a 3% interest rate, you would pay around $443 a month in mortgage insurance, or $5,316 a year. While that may seem like a big chunk of change, when homes are appreciating at 10 to 15% a year in Los Angeles, waiting to purchase until you have a 20% down payment could cost you a lot more because that $1 million house today at current appreciation rates will be worth 1.1 to 1.15 this time next year. If you do the math, you'd still be saving around 94,000 paying PMI versus waiting to purchase. Also, PMI on a conventional loan is not forever. When your mortgage principal balance is less than 75 to 80% of the original appraised value or current market value of your home, you can make a request to remove PMI. With homes appreciating as they have been, it doesn't take long in Los Angeles. For FHA loans, PMI is calculated differently. FHA loans are insured by the Federal Housing Administration and offer down payments as low as 3.5%. FHA loans also have easier credit qualifications than conventional loans do. Because of the more relaxed standards, FHA loans require an upfront mortgage insurance premium plus an annual premium regardless of the down payment. The upfront premium is 1.75% of the loan amount, and the annual premium amount ranges between 0.45% to 1.05% of the average outstanding loan balance of the loan for that year. For FHA loans, you'll pay PMI for the life of the loan. To remove PMI, you would need to refinance, so my suggestion would be if you're able to get a conventional loan, go that route, because rates are at an all-time low right now. So refinancing in the future likely won't be as affordable as it is today and being able to get rid of PMI insurance without refinancing is a definite plus. If you would like more information on PMI insurance or the home buying and selling process, feel free to reach out to me or comment below with any questions you may have. All of our info is in the description below and I would be honored to help you with your next real estate transaction. We are gonna close out with our Wine Wednesday Wine of the Week and this week's wine is a Chateauneuf de Pop from France. Chateauneuf de Pop is a very first French appellation created in 1936 and is the Southern Rhone's most exclusive appellation. This wine is also a 90 point wine and this one in particular is under $30 so who doesn't love that? Also, one of the reviews on our Vivino app said, if you're stable in life but want to pretend that you're high class, bring this wine on a yacht and it won't embarrass you. So I'm all for that. Thanks so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you back here next Wednesday. Cheers.